For this segment of A Bit of Addison History, I would like to discuss the property at the northwest corner of Army Trail Boulevard and Mill Roads in Addison, which was once home to the Addison Golf Club. A map published in the DuPage County Atlas of 1874 indicates that the property was owned by a D. Cruzy. Census records show a Dietrich Cruzy, a farmer who had immigrated from Germany, living in Addison with his wife, Mary, and family. The 100-acre farm was passed down to his son, Ludwig Louis Cruzy, who continued to operate the farm by carrying on general farming and milking about 20 cows, according to his official biography in the history of DuPage County. Additional Addison Township maps show Lewis owning the property into the mid-1920s, when it was passed down to his son, Otto. The Byrne family purchased 40 acres and opened the Addison Golf Club in 1956. The course advertised itself as a semi-private par three course, one half mile west of Addison, Illinois. Men's par was 27 and ladies par was 30. The course also featured its own cocktail lounge. In a 1990 Addison Press article, Tom Byrne, son of the owners and head greenskeeper, explained a bit about their clientele. Most of the fellows that come here bowl in the winter, so we might as well close down anyway. There's a high turnover rate. I've seen a lot of faces here. Eventually they graduate to an 18 hole golf course after they learn here. According to Byrne, the course saw around 40,000 rounds played during the season from March through October. This is not to say that women did not also utilize the course. A front page photo in the Addison Press dated September 4th, 1992, depicts lady golfers Chris Sochka and Joyce Spoo walking down the fairway of the Addison Golf Club during their weekly Wednesday match. According to the caption, the duo had golfed there every week, weather permitting, for the past 15 years. By late October 2004, a referendum question about the future of the Addison Golf Club property was placed on the ballot. The ballot question read, shall the village of Addison sell up to $10 million in general obligation bonds to acquire the Addison Golf Club and maintain the property as open space and recreational use. The effect of selling the bonds would have increased property taxes for the owner of a property valued at $300,000 by about $95 a year for 15 years. The golf course referendum was on the same ballot as the referendum regarding the Addison Center for the Arts. Whereas the Arts Center question passed, the golf course referendum was soundly rejected by a vote of 6,113 votes against and only 2,713 votes for. The referendum's failure enabled the village to contact developers to submit proposals for the site. It was not until June 30th, 2006, however, that the village approved plans for a residential development. Cambridge Homes proposed to build 48 townhomes and 63 single family homes, expected to sell in the three to $500,000 range. A pre-annexation agreement moved the development process forward, but building permits were still needed before any sale could be finalized. The issue was complicated because there was a large floodplain on the property and permits through the county, Army Corps of Engineers, the Illinois Department of Natural Resources would be required. The proposed development called the Lions Walk subdivision eventually fell through because of the floodplain problem and other issues. Meanwhile, the golf club continued to operate on the property. In October 2007, a new residential development was proposed for the property by the Janko Group. Called Country Club Manor, the development would be a mix of high-quality single-family, duplex, and condominiums 
designed for older adults looking to downsize. This proposed development did not come to fruition either, and it is unclear when exactly the golf club ceased operations. An oral interview with a Byrne relative indicates that the golf club buildings were slated for final demolition sometime around 2010. The property was finally developed into a residential community in 2018 when Meredith Homes opened phase one of their enclave at Mill Creek in Addison. The 44 home subdivision featured new construction ranch homes with masonry, stone, and brick details in a low maintenance setting. Buyers could choose from one of five floor plans, two or three bedroom configurations with two baths, and could add an optional second story if desired. The base home prices ranged from $350,000 to $470,000. Meredith Homes is currently selling homes in phase two of the development. Thank you.